was putting Oil King up front mm. against Julio Villorio. Now, this is something that we actually didn't really get to consider, right? Oil King's positioning in the team, I think he's gotten way stronger too. I think his confidence has been way up. Going into Street Fighter League, I've had the luxury of being able to meet up with him at certain uh, regions just randomly. Yeah. Being able to talk to him and how he feels in preparation for Street Fighter League, he's feeling as confident as ever. He understands the type of nuances, the little minutiae that he's going to have to alter to make this character successful in Street Fighter 6. And obviously, he's got plenty of examples to look towards as well, right? As Rashid has been a very successful character in the meta. But Yurio Valorio, that means he's going to have plenty of matchup experience against the Rashid. He's going to definitely be more than capable of pulling off the upset here. I consider it an upset if Uriel is able to take him down, considering Oil King has kind of been positioned as the captain of Fighting Spirit. It'd be interesting to see. Definitely, obviously, Rashid more than capable. I like this matchup for both sides, honestly. I think Rashid maybe slight advantage, but Ken definitely more than capable of taking him down. It's a random question for you, Ninja. I've always wondered, do you know what kind of gimbal that Rashid uses that allows him to, to keep the stabilization of his camera so, so well? I'm not familiar with gimbal brands, you know okay. what I'm saying? I would expect it to be Asus or SteelSeries, personally, but... Ah, I see what you did there! Ah. <laughs> well done. Oh, yeah, looking great right now. Up until this point, man, the classic commentator's curse. He had Oil King locked down so much. <laughs> What's a better component to combat against Oil? Definitely the fire. Oriel Velorio with the ODU uppercut. Man! Definitely Oil okay. King. We're going to with the driver versus sliding on in. Nice. Oh, but Oriel again. Give him a gap. He's going to fill it with some blue stuff. Perfect parry. Level one for the kill. Yes, indeed. We have blue stuff in this game, too. I love it. Exactly. I enjoy blue the blue stuff, the green stuff, the reversal stuff. <laughs> Feels great. You just gotta be careful what block you go on when you got the blue stuff. Oh no! Indeed. Oh, the perfect berry into the OD whirlwind. Gonna be blowing through the projectile. Of course, projectile Oof. priority new to Street Fighter 6. Yeah, that's something that took a long while to get used to for a lot of the players to yeah. perfect parry all the way over to OD Eagle Spike just to get that side switch to safe jump as well. The full sequencing from Oil King to allow himself this much of a gap for the level two. It's perfect. Not, what? what? That was actually very sick from Udio in terms of the trade-off. It was. I was really impressed. Like, especially because he was recovering for fireball, but now he's reaching a little bit too much. And Oil King been around the block. He got a couple of lessons for you to learn. That throw was the exact round ender that Oil King was looking for too, because after that sequence, I think everybody's mental would have been shook. Every Rashid player's mental would have been shook. And now, I don't know what that was for the side of Oil King. I don't know what that was for the side of Uriel! I, yeah, I don't know if it was some fancy, like, air tatsu set up after the knockdown and it didn't come out. Man, if he tried to do an air tatsu, I probably would have F-fumbled. Sure. <laughs> it would have been shades of World Warrior recaps all over again. Oh, the lore runs deep. So you get now the perfect parry response with the zone OD though, but Uriel put the brakes on, recognize the perfect parry. Yeah, Try to catch him throwing a fireball that time. Damn! I love that opener too. Coming in from Rashid, it's a very common opener. The back throw just in case. Oil King put himself in that situation in the first place. The Isara coming out now. Udia Valorio forced to block all of it. He could have used the drive reversal a little bit earlier, but it's tough when the tornado was right in front of him. Yeah, indeed. And the drive reversal might have been a drive reversal bait setup or Uriel. Just trying for some desperation to get Oil King off of him. Not gonna happen. 1-0 like that for the captain of Fighting Spirit. This is really tough too. Uriel is really forced in a position where he has to face off against some of the strongest Rashids that he could ever possibly imagine earlier in his tournament lifespan, right? Most of the time he kind of gets that warm up. He's so used to playing at some of the weekly events where he has the luxury of playing and warming up in a lot of the earlier parts of the pools. But this time, you're getting thrown right into the ringer. You're facing off against a world-class player via Oil King. Exactly, and Uriel want to see if he tries to come out swinging a little bit more. Oh, no, he tried to pay. Perry, but the delay from the overhead bypasses the active frames, not blocking correctly during recovery. You get punished, counted for it. I love that design choice, by the way. I think it's really cool, too. Really, really smart for the devs to put that in there, or the way that's implemented for like, some of the overhead. Yeah, remember, you still got to block the right way if you parry during recovery while you're locked into blocking. It does not just absolve you of the correct guess. Back to back throws. Sorry, back-to-back -back parries. Yeah, regular so Eventually coming off from Oil King. Saw another tap parry right there. Ooh. What a confirm right there off the stand. Fierce as well, just run into the DP. Very efficient on the meter. Speaking of meter now, Oil King. Right yeah. the burnout. Udi Valorio is going to take out the rest of that meter, perhaps. Maybe, no, it's going to be right into the damage, into the position that he was looking for. 
Nice job keeping these strings tight as well. You know Oil King wants to get the rest of that drive meter. He's built it back up and the drive rush into the DI. Not going to be enough damage. He didn't go for a super sequence. Oh, but oh, catch oh, Oil oh, King oh, reaching regardless. Oh, that could have been so, so dangerous to Rodeo Valorio. Pretty much knocking on death's door, being in that very position. I mean, granted, he had two bars to his name. He could have been something, uh, done something a little bit wild, but still, Oil King. Pretty crazy. The drive reversal just to get himself out of that situation. The false frames too. Oh, the Arabian Sky High actually catching the fears. You're looking for that a little bit too much in the neutral. Boys. Yeah, I mean, it, exactly. The heavy DP is slightly projectile invul. So you saw him connect it. He'll take the trade in that instance to not spend any meter. Very sneaky. That's something that Oreo Valorio has pretty much sharpened in his uh, journeys. Uh, and a lot of the local events, wow. right? Just kind of drive rushing forward into the Dragon Knight to see the chance. Yeah, and he tried to neutral jump bait Oil King there, but Rashid is a dangerous character to do that with for the exact reason you saw. Now Oil King's in control. One more throw will do it. Puts himself on set point. And that throw is a big meter build. It's a nice chunk before this next round where he approaches he saw. Oh, oh! That was just wrong! Yeah. Uriel just ducked at the last second. Oh, That's no. unfortunate, too. The safe jump is there. Taking the throw. And I like that kind of like teasing the idea that might have gone for the level two, but Oriel actually just threw out a fireball, so he's just fine. Yeah, and remember Oil King, he's been representing this drive rush crouch light kick too, so maybe that's what Oreo was thinking about. Got tagged with the overhead during it. Oh, oh hey. word! Oh my God. Just level three anti-air on the jump over. <laughs> Oreo gonna make him pay dearly here. Damn, <laughs> that's hella damage. Ah uh, yeah, you gotta keep your strings tight, man. Yeah, and I think Oil King realized that it was going to be burnout either way, right? I think Uriel was going for a burnout block string right there, so he just gives it to him via DP. Oh, opened up. That was a counter hit. Uh, I think he might have tried to do that earlier. No way! Oh, yeah, he'd been abusing the Dragon Lash, but no, tried to throw after. Still anybody's game here. Oil King gets the drive meter back. Oh, driver versus the Jinrai, super smart. Wall Wing air to nice. air. Ernio, nice, cool, calm, composed, tying up the set. <laughs> that was actually mad awkward, too. You see the Spider Man off the wall, like, look what I can do. And then Ernio was like, no, I've seen this before. Yeah. Like, Jump medium punch. You thought it was over? Oil King tried to do something that would make Ernio panic, right? Great composure in that instance. I wonder if he still could have done like a regular attack, I think so. I think so. That would have been kind of like awkward input wise. Oh, better rebuttal against the fireball, gets the side switch. The I tried to wind up with something right there, but Odio, <laughs> he's staying so persistent. The active defense is letting it be known. Oh, oh he held it. Indeed. He was a believer. Yes, he oh, was. no. Oh, you ain't give us nothing to believe in, Rashid. Ken, one round away. Again, we talked about some of the journeys that these guys have had. They fought a plethora of different players all over the world. But how often does Oil King get to face off against Uriel Valorio? Great check. Also on the drive rush. Yeah, that was a no buffer. And the Oditatsu behind the uh -oh. Tried to poke out. The spacing from Oil King was super on point, though. The jab didn't have enough range. Oh! Nice the OD Whirlwind kept cutting Uriel off the pass. Oh! Straight thrown at the dash attempt. And at what timing on the parry, actually, the tornado did get there in time. Avoided the throw because of it. Oh, it's mad scary. Oh, what jab anti air works out. Brother. Oh, that was just such a raw dash. He caught the back dash. He caught the back dash. You just got to clean it up. And he does. Odio going to be able to take this two to one for Team Red Rooster. <laughs> That's how we bounced back in the set. It was looking so in favor of Oil King for a good amount of it up until this last, very, very last game, I think. Oil Valorio really changing up the pace and also understanding when Oil King wants to get antsy. Yeah, most definitely. We saw it time and time again, right? Uriel able to cut him off, whether it be with the crouch medium punch. We saw good fireball usage. Just in general, he never let Oil King get comfortable, get into these primary spots where he wanted to start developing his game. And Uriel had some clutch conversions as well in these big moments to make the most out of the hits he did get.